Hi, this is Ocean K with the new rack extension called the CV Tuner. It allows you to take in CV data of any type and map it to any custom scale that you want. It turns CV data into musical data. So let's see how it works. This is the CV Tuner. The first way that you define what scale you want to use or what sort of musical notes you want to use is in this section. It's got, got two parts, two ways of defining your notes. The first is to use presets. You can select a root of any type and a scale. We've got 13 presets in here. And you just select the root note and you select the scale and all the CV data will map to notes in that scale, in the E major triad scale. The second way of defining notes is through your custom keyboard here. You can select any notes you want, however many notes you want, anywhere from one note to 12, and that will be your scale. Now, you can define through presets or you can define through the keyboards, and the way you choose which way you're defining is through this definition knob. If you want to define through our presets, uh, the knob should be to the left. If you want to define through the keyboard, the dial should be to the right. They're exclusive. You can only define either through presets or through the keyboard. And I should note that this keyboard is actually mapped to uh, your MIDI keyboard. So this uh, C, I believe, is C3, and it goes up to B4. So if you wanted to play your scales real time and record them to a MIDI channel, set your uh, definition dial to the right, and then you can deselect all your notes and then play with your MIDI keyboard and it will enable all of these buttons. So that's how you define which scale you're going to use in the CV Tuner. Now the CV Tuner can take in a number of different types of CV data. Note data, which has CV signals from 0 to 127. Bipolar data, which has data from negative 1 to 1 or negative 100% to positive 100%, and unipolar data, which goes from 0 to 1, or 0 to 100%. So just depending on what your source is, you just change what you pick, and that'll define what is mapped to what. Now, rounding is what happens when you get a note that doesn't fall on the scale. For instance, say in your scale you have C and D, but the CV data that's coming in would normally map to D flat or C sharp. How does it round? Well, if round is set to up, it will always round up to the next scale step, in this case D. If it's set to down, it'll always round down to the scale step, in this case C. If it's triad, triad only works with the presets here, but the triad knows what is the triad for whatever scale you've chosen. So if you choose a major scale, it will know that the 135, if this is C major, it'll know that C, E, G is your triad. And it will round to the closest triad note. So in this case, if it was D flat, it will round down to C because C is in the triad. If it was E flat, it will round up to E because E is in the triad. And then round, random just rounds randomly. So if it's D flat, sometimes it'll round down to C, sometimes it'll round up to D, just randomly. So that's what the round is. There's one other dial here, the harmony, but before we get into that, let's actually make some music with this device. So let's bring in a subtractor, and I'll put the CV tuner right below it. And let's make some CV, some random CV data with our matrix. Now, if we turn our device around, we see that the gate of the matrix is going into the gate of the sequencer, and the note of the matrix is going into the CV of the subtractor. And that's just fine. If we play that, so this is just random CV data that is not tuned to any particular scale. Let's turn this around and let's send this note data into the CV tuner and we'll have out of the CV tuner going into the subtractor. And now all of this data that's being sent from the matrix is being tuned to, in this case, the C major scale. 
If we hit bypass, we can hear what it sounds without it. All right, now if we have, let's say, major triad, and we'll set the round triad versus. All right. Now, this, uh, these uh, displays are actually automatable. So you can do some very simple chord changes this way. Okay, so let's see how this sounds with our keyboard definition. Now, right now, there's no keyboard button that's enabled, so this is playing the raw CV data. But as soon as we enable one button, so now all of the data is being mapped to this scale. This scale is only one note uh, long. It's just the C note. So all notes are being mapped to its closest C. Now, all of the notes are being mapped to either the closest C or the closest G. And now the closest of the, those three. And we can make our scale whatever we want. And we can also automate being able to flip back and forth between these two. This is automatable. In fact, everything here is automatable. All of these buttons, the round, all of it. Okay, so now let's talk about the harmony dial. CV data is monophonic, so it only produces a single note at a time. The CV tuner allows you to create simple harmonies with just this one device. So let's bring in a second subtractor. And if we turn this around, I want to bring in a spider because I want to bring in a spider that doesn't auto route. There we go. Now I want this gate to actually, I want matrix to use the same gate for the two subtractors. So the gate from the matrix is going both into our first subtractor and our second subtractor. Now let's set our harmony out CV to our CV in of the second subtractor. Now these two subtractors are actually playing the same notes because our harmony is set to zero. But if we set our harmony interval to one, anything, we start to get harmonies. Now, what does one mean? One means that it, the CV tuner sends a signal out of the harmony that is one scale note up from the note that's being sent out of the main CV. So that sounds kind of confusing, but let's take a look as, at an example. Let's say I've got a C triad that's being played out of the CV tuner. If a C note is played, then when the harmony interval is one, the CV tuner looks at the, it takes one step up to the next scale and sends that note out of the harmony. So in this case, when a C note plays, it sends an E out of the harmony CV. When an E is played, it sends a G out of the harmony CV. And when a G is played, it sends a C, the next C, out of the harmony. When harmony is set to two, the C will play a G, the E will play a C, and the G will play an E, right? Because it just goes up two scale steps. Now if we have a full C major scale and our interval is two, when a C plays, it's gonna go up two intervals, in this case to E. D is gonna go up to F, E is gonna go up to G, and so on. Now harmony can go from negative seven to positive seven. 
Okay. So that's the CV tuner. It allows you to send in CV data of any kind. It allows you to decide how to round that data. It lets you decide what scale to use, either a preset or define your own scale, and you can create a little Harmony CV information out of it. So I hope you enjoy the device. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. My address should be on the uh, Propellerhead shop page, and I'm usually in the forum pretty frequently, so go ahead and post a question there. Thanks so much for listening.